Break Dance Contest from the Roxy with host Leslie Uggams, plus from New York Hot Tracks, Carlos De Jesus, and celebrity judges including Broadway's Anita Morris, football great Herschel Walker, and all my children's Debbie Morgan and Darnell Williams. And now, Leslie Uggams. Hi everyone and welcome to the finals of the Big Break Dance Contest and tonight you're going to see some of the best of the break dancers. The groups who made it to the top out of more than 600 contestants and this is the night that our finalists have been waiting for. They packed the Roxy over three Sundays to compete for the perfect prize, $2,500 in cash, an appearance on New York Hot Tracks and a role in the new feature film Beach Street. Our judges will have a tough time picking the winner but before we get started, we're going to talk to our master of ceremonies from WKTU, Carlos De Jesus, who knows all about breakdancing. A little bit. Uh, Leslie, breakdancing is a little bit like jazz, where uh, you improvise around some basic moves, and you don't really step out in solo. You don't step out in front unless you really, really know what you're doing. I can relate to that. I know. Let's watch some of them. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rapping to the beat. And me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. Oh, with a hip, hop, the hippy to the hip and a hip, then the hopper, you don't stop the rocker to the bang, bang, boogie, say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie beat. It started in the Bronx back in 1975. Violent street gangs were on their way out because too many kids were either dead or in jail. A teenager named Africa Bambada started the Zulu Nation at the Bronx River Projects. It was a new type of gang which focused in on music and dance. Neighborhood boys were called crews and they challenged each other in wild acrobatic feats called break dancing. The first youth culture since the 60s put a premium on individual imagination and the hip-hop generation was born. If you live or work in New York City, you may recognize a street art form that they call hip-hop. It's rapping. The staccato-like poetry that screams out of portable radios known as boxes. It's graffiti on clothes, on murals, and unfortunately the subway. And it's the breakdance where kids spin round and round like a top on a piece of a cardboard. It's really something else, isn't it? What a body can actually do. It's amazing. This new kind of art form. Or... I wish I could be so loose. Today, Africa Bambada still lives in the Bronx. He's an international recording star, a role model to thousands of city youngsters. It's something to release their pressure, you know, they, instead of them going out there fighting, they could go out there and break dance against different other groups. The whole culture, which is called hip-hop, started in the West Bronx by a DJ by the name of Cool DJ Hurt. Then it came across to the South and Southeast Bronx through myself, Africa Bambada. But now it has gone from the Bronx to Manhattan, all across America is now internationally known hip hop. Hip hop is now very hip. Since the movie Flashdance, breakdancing has popped up in commercials, music videos, nightclubs, and all over the media. For many of these kids, breakdancing is a dream. It's a way out of the streets. Like sports, it's a way to be somebody. My dream is for me to be success. To go to Hollywood, see all the movie stars, be right. chilling with them. You know, just the way they chill. For the chosen few, Harry Belafonte's new movie about the Bronx called Beat Street may make that dream come true. Hollywood has invaded their community. Hollywood has come to them and said that we want what you've got. like breakdancing is just plain family entertainment. We'll be back in a moment for some highlights of the preliminaries. Baby swipes, the float, windmills, and electric boogie, next. Hey. 
After Burger King came to 9th Street, no one could say no to flame broiling. Well, Bobby had to have one. 